You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, punch that like button, and as always, thank you guys and gals for watching. Let's get to Joe Biden because it seems that dementia slash sleepy slash creepy told a big old fat fib the other day when he was talking about Navy football and Roger Staubach, and he has been called out by the media. Uh, believe it or not, somebody actually asked about this during uh, the White House uh, media press conference that happens every day. And the White House is, as you can expect, deflecting, trying to act like it never happened. Imagine that. Word has it right now he's really pissed because they're covering up for all of his gaffes. Well, you know, that's the way it is. Daily Wire. White House punts when asked about Biden's apparent Navy football fib. The White House punted Tuesday when asked about President Joe Biden's apparent White House lie. Biden told graduating midshipmen at the U.S. Naval Academy Friday that he spurned an invitation to the venerable military institution back in 1965 because future NFL uh, Hall of Famer Roger Staubach blocked his path to the gridiron glory. God. But as the Daily Wire reported Saturday, nothing about the claim adds up. White House Press Secretary Karen John Pierre, or Jean Pierre, was pressed about the claim Tuesday and ducked the question. And, I mean, she ducked it all right. He said on Friday uh, during his address at the Naval Academy. The president was born in 1942, graduated from the University of Delaware in 1965. In his address, he said he was appointed to the Naval Academy in 1965. Was he? Was it in 1965? So I, oh, I did not hear that part of the speech, uh, so right I would have to... Okay, I did. I I missed. Writing about it. I no, I hear you. I hear you. I have not. I, I need to read it myself and just go back and and see what you're talking about exactly. I I can't speak to it right now. Okay, so all I can tell you is, uh, from what I know about body language and eyes, I don't buy her explanation. I'm just letting you know. In his speech, Biden said he was quote appointed to the academy in 1965 but passed on Navy and went to the University of Delaware to pursue pigskin prominence. Quote, I didn't come to the academy because I wanted to be a football star, Biden said, and you had a guy named Stallback and Bellino here. So I went to Delaware. One problem with the story is that Biden would have been 23 in 1965 and graduated from the University of Delaware that same year. There's also no evidence he was ever inclined declined a spot at Navy, and he did not play varsity football at Delaware. Staubach and Joe Bellino, the only two Navy players to win the Heisman Trophy, were gone by 1965. Staubach graduated in 65 and went off to fight in Vietnam before coming home and having a storied career with the Dallas Cowboys. Bellino was a halfback who graduated in 61, also fought in Vietnam and had a brief NFL career. Biden was a pretty good wide receiver at Willing, 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 Wilmington's Archmere Academy, once catching three touchdown pass from quarterback Bill Peterman during their 1-6 junior year. During his senior year at Archmere, with a new coach, Biden scored 10 touchdowns in eight games, and the team went undefeated. Quote, in almost any group, I was a leader. Okay. Biden later wrote in his autobiography, I was a leading scorer on our undefeated and untied football team my senior year and didn't lack for confidence. In 2008, Biden took heat for telling what seemed to be a tall football tale about playing for the University of Delaware against Ohio University. Quote, I came here in 63 and I had to go back. I double checked my memory, you know. You get my age, you're not so sure of it. Yikes, and you're running the country. You know, your glory days look more glorious than they really were and all that. 
So when I went back on the internet, I just want you to know I came there in October 1963, and we beat you, Bobcats, 29 to 12. But a subsequent fact check determined that Biden had only briefly been on the school's freshman football team in 1961. So, of course, the white he he gets called out for it, caught in a blatant lie about the about the Navy and their football team and his chase for glory. And of course, the White House is like, oh well, we're we're not actually sure what you're talking about. We didn't see that part of the speech, so let's bob and weave and deflect around that, like you can expect, because you're not going to get a true or correct or a truthful answer out of this bunch. It seems. By the way, a shit ton of his staff is belling out on him. Is that any surprise? Evidently, they don't like some of the stuff from his past. That has come out, particularly when it comes to race. Well, wait a minute. I thought Democrats were supposed to be. Never mind. Never mind. Joe Biden caught in a lie. Won't take responsibility for it. The White House won't. Uh, won't step up and try to uh, put the toothpaste pack in the tube. Nothing is surprising about him. His tall tales, his gaffes. And any other kind of lack of mental competence at this point. Wow. Roger Stallback was a hell of a quarterback, by the way. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.